Alright everyone, I just went on a walk, and this is the official time. Now, um, it's going to be backwards, but anyway, it's 27 minutes and 56 seconds. I burned 254 calories. The distance was 0.87 miles. The average pace is 31 point, uh, 3155 miles. The sets was 2,876. So again, yeah, right. Now, I don't know what happens to this, but I'm done with that workout. Now, let me see if I can call it up again or something, right? Now, this one here says 51 minutes, 288, 3 steps, um, 0.871533 calories. Now, I guess that's still the one from yesterday, like I said before, right? Um, but it's supposed to be both, uh, you know what I mean? Separate, right? It, it sort of added them together, right? And the thing is... Hold on, wait a minute. Now, it obviously combined them, but it's weird, too, because it's only counting so mm -hmm. much. It's counting the miles I bought today, mm -hmm. but not yesterday. The steps are off, so, and the minutes are off, I know. So, again, it's working weird, right? From what I just showed you, right? Now, the thing about a product is you want it to be a good product, right? Now, another thing is, um, my weather forecast has two, uh, addresses that are my same address, I think. Okay. Hmm. This is weirder. This is weirder. Because when I went, went off, I was talking about this, right? Now, what it is, is I have... One address right. that is three one four oh seven. Then I have three 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 one three two two, three one three two six, and then three one four oh eight. But what they didn't know is the city that was deleted from it. Right. 
which I'm about to show you. And, uh, see, the city that was deleted from it is this one. See, they don't know what city it was when they corrected it, right? But I did. Uh, <laughs> see? See? Now, that's another part of Savannah, right? But see, now I got them for deleting the... See, there was two, three, one, four, oh, sevens, right? But when I came to this channel before, and I talked about it out loud, that shows me they're listening to me. But they didn't have the fifth zip code that I had in, and they entered two that were the same. Now, all I'm doing is busting them out on it, right? Showing them their fuck up, right? That's all I'm showing them. You fucked up again, right? Assholes, dumbasses, trying to entrap me again. Too stupid to... Things like that. It's to insult their intelligence because they're dumbasses, right? Trying to entrap me this way anyway after all this time, right? And me not knowing what to do, right? To avoid the trap, right? That's what I keep telling them, right? They don't know what the actual code is I had in before the zip code, right? But I did, I know. And like I said, right? That's why I waited to see what they would do about it, too, I know. Now, they took the other one off, the 31407, to where there's now one, but there was two earlier this morning when I was going to the forecast, right? Now, they didn't know the fifth one was 31406, though, right? I didn't tell them what it was. So that's proof they deleted one 31407, and now I had to add the 31406, which I just added, right? Now, there's another zip code I can use, including Guyton, including Springfield, and that's to trap them again, right? If they try to pull this again, right? Do you know what I mean there? Right. I know a bunch of zip codes in Savannah, too. I know. <laughs> I used to work for Stafford Auto Paint and different companies like that, right? And that's what I mean, right? I know there's about four or five different zip codes all around Savannah, too, right? Including 31408 is Garden City, 31407 is Port Wentworth, and 31406 is around the, uh, um, the Savannah Mall, the area around there, right? Eisenhower, around there, around there. Somewhere in that area, right? And that's why I'm doing it to mess with them, right? See, I, I, I grew up in Savannah. I know Savannah real well, right? And that's the whole point there, too, right? So, like I said, uh, they're messing with my TV. They're messing with my stuff. And it's electronically controlled, too, right? Now, this is what? Big Brother or Russia Brother or China Brother or America Brother, right? Someone's doing something they're not supposed to do to my TV, right? They're trying to change something I spoke about, which means they're at least recording me audio. No matter who it is, though, I'm ratting them out, right? Because they're being a rat to me, right? They're trying to trick me into doing something I'm not willing to do, right? And I just let them know I'm on to them, right? That's all I can do, right? Legally, legally. But they can't force my hand either. If they bring me a girl and she has an ID and there's no way to validate the ID, that's on them and the girl. And that's the point there, too. You're giving me grace. And the law says I can be with any girl who has an ID that says she's 16 or older in Georgia, right? You, she don't even have to have a Georgia ID. If she comes to my house and I'm a Georgia resident, Georgia law applies, not her law. From her state, if she's a young girl, right? She's in fact engaging me to marry her, right? See what I mean? See what I mean? In Georgia, you can get married or start having sex at 16. Just letting you know that, right? It's called the age of consent, right? And anyone older than 16, too, can be with a girl, right? There's no age limit either. either. There's no cutoff, right? Once the girl hits 16, she can be with her as she wants to be. That's just a rule. That's just a rule. Now, that's why I'm worried that Lisa's dad might have tried to knock me out, too, when she was 16 and we were making out in the front yard of her aunt's and uncle's house. Things like that, right? But anyway, I digress. That's the past. And also what happened with Shane Sanders at the North Carolina Bible Camp, right? 
before I met Pastor Vince, right? And he tried to cop a field. Mm -hmm. I think he can't. I, I rejected that. Right. So anyway, y'all have a nice day. Bye-bye.